हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज द फोर्थ वीडियो ऑन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू कन्वर्ट एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो basically you are given any equation of the form m dx plus n dy equals to 0 and the given equation is not exact means the partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x and we have to convert this equation into exact differential equation so so we will do this by finding the integrating factor so let mu be the integrating factor which is a function of x and y such that equation 1 becomes exact right it means when you multiply this equation 1 by mu it satisfying this condition then the partial derivative of new m which is mu times m new n which is mu times n right so it satisfying this condition that is the partial derivative of mu m with respect to y is same as that partial derivative of mu n with respect to x since mu is a function of x y m is a function of x y so you can find out the partial derivative of this function with respect to y by product rule so first function as it is the derivative of second then the derivative of first and second as it is and so on right so we will have this equation now you combine mu mu terms and other two terms okay so when you take mu to be common from this term you will have this equation so when you take mu common you left with this equation is equal to this thing so you have this equation right now the case one when mu is a function of x alone so if mu is a function of x alone then the partial derivative of mu with respect to y will be zero so we substitute over here the value of this thing it is zero so you left with this factor is equal to this factor right so now you take this n to be this side so it will be divided by n and you take mu to be this side okay so now you integrate both side one side with respect to x and other side with respect to mu since it is a function of x alone so your left hand side should be a function of x alone so this is a condition that this function this inside factor it should be a function of x alone only then we can integrate with respect to x right say it is fx so what will be your mu will be when you integrate you have this is ln mu this is this so your mu will be you can this ln to be this side e to the power integral of fx dx where fx is curly m upon curly y minus curly n upon curly x divided by n so whenever mu is a function of x alone right or you can say whenever this is a function of x alone then the integrating factor will be e to the power integral of fx dx similarly if mu is a function of y alone it means the partial derivative of mu with respect to x is zero so same way you substitute the value of mu with respect to x in, in, uh, is equal to zero in the main equation you will have this equation again you separate the terms taking the integration right so the condition is that this should be a function of y alone right because your right hand side is a function of y alone so it should be a function of y alone and moreover you can integrate this with respect to y only when it is a function of y alone since it is a function of y alone you can integrate both side and you will have mu as e to the power integral of this gy dy with negative sign Okay so what is the procedure to remember the integrating factor 
since the function since this equation is not exact it means this factor is not equal to this factor so we can find out the difference of these two either we will divide with respect to uh, with n or with m uh, with m so if we divide with n it is a function of x alone then integral uh, integrating factor will be e to the power integral of this thing right and if we divide by m it's a function of y alone then the integrating factor will be e to the power integral of minus gy dy right now see one example let's suppose we are given this equation we have to solve this differential equation so first of all we combined dx terms and then dy so now this is our m m dx and this is our n plus n dy equals to zero find out the partial derivative of m with respect to y it is one partial derivative of n with respect to x it is minus one since they are not equal so our equation is not exact so we have to find out the integrating factor and we convert this equation into exact differential equation so for this we take the difference of these two now we have to see whether we have to divide it by m or n okay so if we divide it by m neither it is a function of x alone nor y so we discard this case we divided by n so when we divided by n it's a function of x alone so we can find out the integrating factor mu it will be e to the power integral of minus 2 by x dx right so when you integrate this this is 1 over x square now since it is a integrating factor you can multiply this equation by 1 over x square you will have new m new n now your equation is exact and you know that whenever your equation is exact differential equation the solution will be integration of m with respect to x by treating y to be constant plus integration of n with respect to y by taking those terms which contains no x is equal to c so after simplifying this we have this is a solution so clear everyone if it is not a function of x after dividing n right so we cannot find out in that case we cannot find out integration factor using uh, division by m or division by n right so we have to uh, solve this differential equation by some another method so after dividing by n it should be a function of x alone right after dividing by m it should be a function of y alone only then we can find out the integrating factor and we can solve such type of differential equation now just see one more example in this equation we are given that 3x square y cube e to the power y plus y cube plus y square dx so this is your m this is your n find out the partial derivative of m with respect to y and n with respect to x since they are not equal so your equation is not exact so we need to find out the integrating factor first of all we take the difference of these two after taking the difference one term is cancel out and now you have to see whether we have to divide it by m or n now just see it is same as that m one vector is common in this case so we can divide by m so when we divide by m it's a function of y alone so our integrating factor will be e to the power minus of gy right so minus of gy means 3 by y dy so it will be 1 over y cube so now we multiply the given equation original equation by the integrating factor which is 1 over y cube we will have new m new n and since your equation is exact so the solution will be integration of m with respect to x Uh, now in this case we have to consider m to be the new m after multiplying this integrating factor right and then you integrate that factor will be with respect to x by treating y to be constant and taking uh, integration of n with respect to y considering only those term which contains no x right so in this case there is no term which is not having any x so we consider n to be 0 is equal to c now just see this is your solution thanks